Hello, this is Gary Cleveland with Remote Pilot 107 Online. And you can find our website by simply typing in www.rp107.com in your address bar. You will see that we have a start to finish online course so that you can get your commercial remote pilot certificate through the FAA and begin flying drones for hire. This video is going to be the registration process for your small unmanned aircraft. It is required that you re register all small unmanned aircraft with the FAA regardless of whether you are going to be operating it commercially or not. You only need the remote pilot certificate if you are going to operate the small unmanned aircraft for hire. If you are operating it for pleasure only, which would fall under the model airplane exception of part 107, you still have to register it and you still have to adhere to all the rules and regulations that apply to the small unmanned aircraft system. There are a lot of regulations to know and so if you are flying your small unmanned aircraft under the uh, model airplane exception for pleasure only, take time to look through some of our course freebies and at least be knowledgeable of the rules and regulations so that you do not get yourself in trouble. I have a Typhoon H by Unique that recently uh, came to the airport here uh, via FedEx and we did have a, a video of the box opening so you could see all the things that came with it and now I'm going to register it. What I'll do is just walk right through the process with you having my screen shared so that you can see exactly uh, what I have to go through to get it registered. Now note in one of my previous videos we talked about uh, my pastor who brought his uh, Mavic Pro over to do some video work with us for the RP107 course and when he went to register his he cautioned me that there are some other uh, websites that are collecting $25 to register your small unmanned aircraft with the FAA when indeed the FAA only charges $5. When he texted me during this registration process, he said, I thought you said the uh, registration was only $5, and I said, yes, it is. And I had him check the address in his uh, browser, and it was not the uh, FAA.gov. It was uh, a third party no doubt a legitimate registration host uh, but it is not that complicated so the five dollar registration fee is plenty I see here we have federal drone registry and that is not a dot gov address here's an here's a the one I want Okay, notice here it's uh, registermyus.faa.gov. So I know that's going to be a legitimate registration straight to the FAA, not going to charge me extra. Okay, and so here we have up in the address bar registermyus.faa.gov. I see that the uh, Federal Aviation Administration logo is here. I'm going to click on register. Okay, email address. So let's go ahead and use Gary at helicopterground.com and we'll make up a password here okay so they send 
a verification email. So now I need to open up a third browser here and I'll go to my email and I have to sign in my email and there I have an email for confirm your email it says here thank you for creating an account with the FAA small unmanned aircraft systems registration site click the link below to activate your account Okay, so there's your helicopter ground. Account type. Select the account type that best fits your unmanned aircraft system usage. Well, I'm not going to fly it as a model aircraft. Um, we're using it for training. So, we're going to go here. Gary. J. Cleveland Jr. Chief Pilot. Alternate email. So I'll put my own personal email in there. Phone number 74. Seven six seven one seven nine seven. physical address. Okay. So 301 Airport Road. And that's in Plymouth. Indiana. 46563. Click here if your mailing address is the same as your physical address. That works. Here we got the add UAS, unmanned aircraft system, purchased, enter a nickname, it's required. Um, I'm never good with nicknames, so I'm just going to call it a Typhoon H because that's what it is. And it's made by Unique. And it is a Typhoon H. Now the serial number. Okay, let's see if it likes this. Typhoon H was added to your shopping cart. Once you are finished adding to your shopping cart, click Done to review your cart. Proceed to checkout. Success, maybe. Done. Typhoon H. Manufacturer, unique. Typhoon H. I'm going to verify the serial number and I'll go ahead and check out. Acknowledgements. I will fly in accordance to the FAA requirements for authorized operation of my aircraft. I understand that I am responsible for knowing and understanding what those requirements are. And that's what we've been talking about. Even if you're going to fly it for fun. Regulations, regulations, regulations. Don't want to get in trouble. Next. Okay, here we are. I'm reviewing everything here. It's looking like it's okay. 
And I understand that in accordance with federal law. I could be fined, imprisoned. If I obtain a certificate by knowingly or willfully falsifying or concealing a material fact or making a false, fictitious, or fraudulent statement. Alright, so. Congratulations, you have successfully registered your device. You must mark each aircraft with the assigned unique registration number before it is operated. The number must be visible without using tools. You may mark it inside the battery compartment if that is accessible. You may use any method of affix the number that ensures it remains visible, including permanent marker, label, or engraving. Now well, let's click on View Inventory. And it looks like I have a registration number. Typhoon H, unique. Typhoon H. Once again, I'm going to be very redundant. And I'm going to check that serial number. That all looks good. I'll make note of the number that I need to make. A, I'm just going to take a label. And I'm going to label right across the top to make it easy to read and I believe we're good to go I'm going to log out and I'll toggle back to camera number one and I will take that number that the FAA has issued me and I will make a nice label and place it right on the top of the Typhoon H to where I can identify it quickly and easily and so can anybody else. If you wanted to put it in the battery compartment that would be fine. Not sure it'd be easy to see in this aircraft if I did that so I'm going to choose just to stick it right on top. So this has been an instructional video on registering your small unmanned aircraft with the FAA to make it legal required whether you're operating it for fun or for hire. Regardless, you have to adhere to the rules, you have to register it. And remember to visit us at Remote Pilot Online or RP107. Simply type www.rp107.com in your browser and you will come right to our website. We have a start to finish video course that has everything you need to know if you want to get your commercial remote pilot license through the FAA or if you just want to operate within the parameters of the law for fun. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.